many of us in the implementation projects would have faced this problem of where we need to call the hierarchy tables in any app app program so we would have some custom requirement where we wanted to capture the profit center hierarchies or the cost center hierarchies or cost element groups or cost center groups but there are no standard tables unlike all other bsec or ac talk for these hierarchies so it is difficult for us to get these hierarchy values in the app program real time but sap offers multiple ways the two prominent ways are one we can go for any standard function modules for example for profit center hierarchies you have standard function modules or bappies which will give you the result in the form of a standard hierarchy but again there are certain limitations in how we can use that output the output format is predefined and we cannot change it but there are no bappies available for all the hierarchies the other alternative is to go with a uh, tables so in this video we will understand about the hierarchy tables and how the values can be populated in these tables and how these can be called in our programs so before we go into the video do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and also we are starting a new online training batch on project systems so please do not forget to register we are having an early bird discount of 15% flat on the course fee if you have registered before 10th of november and if you are a premium member of this channel you always get the additional advantage of 15% flat irrespective of when you register on the course and do not miss this chance this is an extensive training on project systems which covers end to end topics and is applicable for beginners till advanced learners if you are looking for any niche skill on the top of sap fico if you want to learn project systems which is closely integrated with finance then this is the best opportunity for you and this is a 70 hour plus extensive training which is being taken by us so go ahead and the link of registration is given in the description explore it find out all the details and do register right now if you have any questions then you can drop an email the email address is also mentioned in the registration form you can also scan the qr code on the screen to directly access the registration form and as usual i need not say that you have an option of joining the channel to contribute our work and become a premium member of the channel and get access to many wonderful playlists like end to end copa and many other member specific videos and also discount coupons for the udemy courses so click the join now and if you want to do a one time contribution you have an option of thanks so that you can do a one time contribution for our work so let's jump into the video so sap offers us this sat H A N A H I E R tables. These are multiple tables. There are various tables with one zero one, two, three, and one zero six. So each table is used for different purpose. One is used for profit center hierarchies. One is used for cost center hierarchies or cost center groups, cost element groups, etc. So these are non-real time tables, which means the data in these tables does not exist. for the very first time we need to execute a transaction code so that the system will fetch or read the actual hierarchies and populate those values in the tables now every time you want to access the latest data you need to run that transaction code and then the latest values will be populated in these tables which we can call in multiple programs like how we call any standard tables So we will try to understand how these tables look. What are the transaction codes that we need to run in order to populate the data? And we will also try to play around with creating new elements in the hierarchy and whether or not automatically that will be replicated in these tables or not. And what is the output of this table, etc. So let's go back to SAP. Let us enter the transaction code SE sixteen N. and here we have different tables that we can access to get the hierarchies 
they will start with set h a n a h i e r which is nothing for it's a set of table it's a set in hana for hierarchies now there are multiple tables with different number series ending in the last so let us see all of those tables that stores the hierarchy values so the first one is 0101 this is used for storing the cost center groups or the cost center standard hierarchy we have 0102 which is for the cost element groups 0103 for the internal order groups and 0106 is used for profit center groups now let us execute i'll execute this one and let us see the output what we have now if i execute this this is the output that we have first we will try to understand what exactly this is how the output is populated here we'll try to compare it with the standard hierarchy that is already available let me also open the standard hierarchy parallelly in kc h6n so this is my standard hierarchy and this is the output that the system had populated now that we have these side by side let us understand what exactly the output of this table represents so first one this is a set class the class 0106 is the same number that is ending in the table name and this stores the profit center groups or the profit center hierarchy now the organizational unit is nothing but the controlling area for which this set is created or this data is populated in this set that is 0 mmh and the set name is 0 mmh profit center standard hierarchy now this one is nothing but this is the main node or the topmost node of the profit center hierarchy or in fact the name of the profit center hierarchy with which it is created so all the line items in this table will have the same set name which is the profit center standard hierarchy name that is created now this node the first node column represents the sequence in which a particular item is created now let us understand what is the sequence represent and what does positive and the negative numbers represent here the positive numbers represent profit centers and the negative numbers represent the profit center groups now first we'll start with the profit center group so what is minus 1 minus 1 here says the set name is 00 mmpch which is nothing but the topmost node in this entire hierarchy now minus 2 represents ev which is the second group that is created and similarly minus 3 is ice which is the third group and minus 4 is truck which is the fourth group now in my standard hierarchy there is a sub group created under the truck with the name sub truck so this is a group and that is the fifth group that is created in sequence in this entire hierarchy and the name of that is sub truck so if you understand here the sequence represents or the numbering represents the sequence in which the group is created and negative numbers represent profit center groups and now if we see the positive numbers these are all profit centers that are assigned here and if you see the very first profit center that is created is common and the second profit center created in sequence is ev and the third one is ice if you see the third one this is ice and fourth one is eb truck 2 and fifth one is truck and then i have created truck eb so this is the same sequence in which i have created different profit centers now after that i have created another one eb truck 3 and that is the latest one or the seventh one in the sequence so the sequence represents when it is created and the positive or the negative numbers represent whether it is a profit center or a profit center group respectively so that is the significance of this first node column now the second node column represents the parent node of this particular element for example all these are profit centers now this node represents the group under which these profit centers are created for example if you see the profit center common it is having a node as minus 1 and what is minus 1 if you see the minus 1 here that is 00 mmpch which is nothing but the topmost standard hierarchy that means this profit center common is created under this group 
or the standard hierarchy 00 mmp csh same way if you see the profit center ev it is having a node as minus 2 now if you refer to this minus 2 here that is ev which means the group under which this profit center is created is ev and that is what we see in the standard hierarchy as well the same thing for ICE, ICE is having minus 3 and minus 3 stands for ICE. So this profit center ICE is created under the group called as ICE. Now if we see the fourth one, for all these three profit centers, truck, truck EV and EV truck 2, the node is given as minus 4, which is, that means this group truck is having three profit centers created and that is what we see here. Now, the same thing is also represented as a vice versa values under this counter values, which means here we are saying that for these three profit centers, the group is minus 4, which is truck. And with this column, we are representing that truck is having three profit centers assigned to it. Similarly, ICE is having one profit center, EV is having one profit center assigned to it, and this topmost node is having one profit center assigned to it directly. Now, if we see the last one, we are having EV truck 3 and this is having the group as minus 5, which is sub truck. On the other side, if we see the other side of the coin, sub truck is having only one profit center assigned to it directly, which is EV truck 3 and that is what we see in the standard hierarchy here. So, this is how the numbering of the nodes is done. Now, what is level? Level represents the level of that group in this hierarchy. If it is the topmost level, that means if it is this, then that should be level 0. And all these three groups, EV, ICE and truck should have level 1. And anything created beneath these groups, for example, like sub truck should have level 2. And that is what we see here. The topmost hierarchy is always having a level as 0. And any group that is created directly under the topmost hierarchy or the standard hierarchy will have level 1. These are level 1 groups and any group that is created under level 1 groups will have level 2, which is sub truck in this example. So, this is how we can read these nodes, levels and counter values. The from values represent the profit centers and the set identification is a name which is given with a combination of the set and the profit center standard hierarchy and the group, uh, sorry, the controlling area and the group. And the set name represents the actual standard hierarchy group names. And this is again nothing but our controlling area. And these are the profit centers. So, this is the output of the standard hierarchy. Now, the values in this table are populated because I have already done the predecessory or the prerequisite steps which are required to populate these values in this table. Otherwise, these tables are usually blank. For example, if I go back to 101, which is for cost center groups for which I have not done any setup. If you see, there are no values found. So, in the next video, we will understand how to populate values into these standard hierarchy tables. And do not forget to register yourself for the project systems course on SAP S4 HANA. Get an early bird discount of 15% flat on the course fee by registering before November 10th. And if you are a premium member of the channel, you always get 15% flat off on the course fee. Scan the QR code on the screen to access the registration form or the link is also given in the description below. See you in the next video. Take care.